Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the types of DC generator part 3. Subscribe the channel for more videos, soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the first problem. A, shunt, a short sun DC generator delivers a load current of 200 ampere at 500 voltage. So this problem based on the short sun. The resistance of armature series and sand field are 0.03 ohm, 0 0.015 ohm and 150 ohm respectively. Calculate the EM of induced in the armature. The question is we need to find the EM of induced in the armature. Allow a brush drop, brush contact drop of 1 voltage per brush. The brush drop is 1 voltage per brush. Now we will see the given data as well as the diagram short sand DC generator. The load current is given as 200 ampere. The load current equal to 200 ampere. And the terminal voltage is 500 voltage. REA is 0.03 ohm, RSC 0.15 ohm, 0 0.015 ohm, RSH sand field 150 ohm. Brush drop equal to 1 voltage per brush. So, the total brush drop equal to 2 voltage because there are 2 brushes are available. Now, we will see the diagram what is mean by short stand. So, the short stand or long stand is coming under the compound generator. Compound generator mean both series field as well as sand field are available. So, this is a series field, this is a sand field, both are available so that it is coming under compound generator. In that, what is short stand? The, this is the rotating part armature these two are stationary part sand field and series field the main part of the dc generator what we have the rotating part armature and stationary part the field winding series field and sand field how we are connecting the field winding with the armature accordingly it is classified now it is coming under short sand that is this sand winding is connected immediately thereafter the series winding is connected that's why it is called a short sun. In long sun mean the immediately the series field will be connected. The combination of series field and sun field across that the uh, armature across sun field will be connected. Right? So in the short sun immediately with the armature the field winding sun field winding is connected. Thereafter series field winding is connected. So that it is coming under short sun DC generator. Now we will see the parameters one by one. So this is the load terminal, load voltage V. So this is the armature. Inside the armature the EMF is induced that is EG. EMF induced inside the generator is EG. The resistance of the armature is RA. The resistance of the sun field winding RSH. The resistance of series field winding RSC. Right? Now we will see the current direction that is very important. The current coming out of this armature is IA. IA is the current generator, EJ is current e voltage generator in that we are getting the armature current. So at this point the current is splitted. ISH and ISC, sun field current and series field current. So IA equal to IS, ISC plus IS, ISH, sun field current plus series field current. So thereafter the series field current is going to that low terminal this IL. So, this ISC and IL are both are equal same current is flowing through the series field as well as the load right. So, IA equal to ISH plus ISC this ISC is equal to IL series field current and load current are equal. So, based on that we can go for the calculation. So, for a short sun DC generator ISC equal to IL this IL value already given is 200 ampere. So, ISC also 200 ampere. So, both are equal. Then IA equal to IL plus ISH. Just now we discussed in the diagram. right? So, this IL is nothing but ISC. So, IA equal to ISC plus ISH. ISC can be replaced by IL. Then how will you find this IL is already available? How will you find this ISH? This, you can find the ISH by using this formula. VSH divided by RSH. Right, voltage across the sun field divided by RSH. Right. What is VSH? This is here the sun field is only connected across the armature, not a load. Right. So that VSH equal to 
V plus IAC into RAC. The voltage across the sand field. So the voltage across the sand field equal to the total voltage plus this series field voltage. Then only we can get the sand field voltage. So VSH equal to V plus IAC into RAC. Right? The V is available. Terminal voltage is 500. IAC is just now we calculated it's 200 ampere into RSE is 0 0.015. So by calc by simplifying this we got 503 voltage. So the voltage ac across the sun field is 503 voltage. Now we can find the IA. IA equal to IL plus ISH. So IL is 200 ampere. This ISH is VSH by RSH. VSH now we calculated 503. RSH is 150 ohm. So by simplifying this we got IA equal to 203.353 ampere. So now we calculated the armature current also 203.353 ampere. So by using the data we can go for a generated EMF. Our final aim is to find the generated EMF. So EG equal to V plus IARA plus ISCRSC plus brush drop. The voltage generated inside the armature is dropped across the load terminal, then armature resistance, drop across the armature resistance, then series field resistance, series field drop, then brush drop. Right? So this EG is converted like this, voltage across the load terminal, armature resistance drop, series field resistance drop and brush drop. Right? These All these values are available. The terminal voltage is 500. Then RA, IA is now just now we calculated 203.353 into RA is 0 0.03 plus IAC is 200, RSE is 0 0.015 plus brush drop is 2 voltage. So by simplifying this, by adding this we got 511.10 voltage. So the generated voltage is 511.10 voltage. Right? Now we will go to the second problem. A 200, the 20 kilowatt 200 voltage DC sun generator has an armature and field resistance of 0.05 ohm and 150 ohm respectively. So this problem is based on the sun generator, right? The power is given, voltage is given, field resistance and armature resistance is given. Determine the total power developed in the armature total power developed in the armature right now we'll see the data one by one the power given as 20 kilowatt that is equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 watts the voltage is 200 voltage armature resistance 0 0.05 ohm sun field resistance 150 ohm we need to find power developed in the armature not outside inside the armature pa so pa what is the pa EG into IA, voltage induced in the armature into armature current, V into I, V is nothing but induced EMF and I, IA, right. Then how will you find this EG, EG equal to V plus IA, RA. Then how will you find IA, IA equal to IL plus ISH, because of sand current, sand generator, the IA is split into load current as well as sand field current, right. So by finding IA, we can find the EG. From EG, we can find the power developed in the armature. So, we will find this value one by one. First, we will find the load current, IL. IL equal to P divided by V. The output power and load voltage is given. 20 kilowatt, 20 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 200. These two data, load terminal. What we need to find is the power developed in the armature, inside. These two data are available outside. Outside the, the load, load terminal voltages are available. So from that the load current is 100 ampere. We calculated load current equal to 100 ampere. Then IAC equal to V divided by RSC. Because sand field it is connected across the armature. The same voltage can be used for sand field also. All are connected in parallel. So V divided by RSH. V is 200. RSH is 150. So that is equal to 1.33 ampere. Now we calculated the load current as well as sand field current. So that we can calculate the IA. IA equal to IL plus ISH. So in the sun generator, the armature current is splitted into 
load current and sun field current. So, 100 plus 1.33. So, this 101.33 ampere. The armature current is 101.33 ampere. So, from that we can find the EMF generated inside the armature EG equal to V plus IA RA. So, V value is given 200 plus IA is nothing but 101.33 into RA is 0 0.05 ohm. So, by simplifying we got 205.0665 voltage. The EMF induced inside the armature is 205.0665 voltage. So, from this we can find the power developed in the armature. P A equal to E G into I A. So, E G now calculated 205.0665 into the I L. I L value also available. I A value also available 101.33. So, by multiplying this we got 20,779.388 388 watts. So, power developed in the armature is so 20,779 into 3.388 watts. See this the power developed is more than the power available outside. This 20 kilowatt is available outside the load terminal. So, the power developed the inside is nearly 20,779. So, after the drop armature reaction drop and armature re resistant drop remaining power 20 kilowatt is available outside. So, in this video we discuss about the short shunt, one problem based on short shunt DC generator and one problem based on sun generator. Subscribe the channel for more videos, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Thank you.